What's good? We back. It's Box Clean Camorra. Y'all know what it is. Give me all an update on the Jamal Charlo situation where he got $150,000 worth of uh, things stolen. It was fifty grand in uh, in cash and one hundred and fifteen in jewelry in the bag. I get Louis for time back. Um, I link this article in the description so you know this true. You know he tweeted out fake news. Obviously it wasn't fake news. It was real news. And obviously what happened was um, somebody's entourage told a lady during an the altercation they had to wash the bag. The four year old lady name who was in the article link. Um, you know ran off with the bag. She's from Connecticut, forty years old. Ran off with the bag with several pals. Um, she returned herself in and turned the stuff in. And only thing that was missing was the fifty thousand dollars in cash, and um, you know, you know it is what it is. You know, she turned herself in and took the blame for it. She did run off with the bag, and her girls left with her, but she took the bag. You know, she was told to wash the bag, and whoever that person was in the entourage, unless we personally knew that lady, uh, he won't be rolling my entourage no more. He cost me fifty grand at least, and probably more money with him traveling with me, Charlo. You know, is an idiot for carrying around all that cash and money in the city, period. That's his or not his. Um, New York City is a big, big city. And um, hopefully this is a lesson learned from him. And why do you need to carry around that, ja that, that jewelry and cash? It just shows me that um, he's not a very bright man. This man got a whole family, a wife, and kids at the, at the house. He got a whole family. A lot of people don't know that he has. And, you know, he don't need to put himself in a position to be a target like that. Hopefully, learn from the situation. You know, you don't have to go out there buying cash and jewelry. I mean, having jewelry and having all that flamboyant stuff, especially in a business where one punch can, you know, end your career. But then, you know, he said he got investments, but then what do you have to fall back on after that? You feel me? So, you need to be putting that money up, man, and just investing into real estate and saving it until, you know, he really hit that that point where he, he, he really touching a lot of millions, five, ten million to fight at least. And... You know, or five million at least in the ten million to fight, like somewhere in there. Um, you know, but you know, it is what it is. You know, it was a mistake. A lot of the young guys do it. Adrian Boner does it all the time, flushing money, burning money. Um, you know, you, you know, these guys need to learn. You know, um, you know, just because you got it, don't mean you got to flaunt it, and you made yourself a target in somebody else's city. I understand New York is one of the safest cities. A lot of police around, and but still, anything can happen. And on this night, something did happen. You know, but like I said, the lady turned herself in. She's 40 years old from Connecticut. You know, 40. She seen the opportunity to run off on the back. And uh, maybe she didn't think the club cameras recorded, but they did. Some cameras don't record or don't go back so far, but they got her. And I wonder what, you know, what, you know, what they going to do. I wonder if Charlo going to press charges or what is, you know, what is this, you know, situation about? And does he personally know her? Because they must personally know her if somebody's entourage handed her the bag. But the $50,000 is gone. And um, that's an unfortunate event i don't care if you're a billionaire nobody wants to lose fifty thousand dollars that's something you could have spent on that's a whole it's a whole cadillac or something like that and um you know he tweeted out fake news and try to you know roll 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 with the punches but at the end of the day you know this punch this counter punch got straight in on him and it wasn't fake news you did something stupid and um now your whole family know you did something stupid and you know stop doing that stop bringing all that money out for what what did you got all that money for and what do you got all them people around you for you know, the minute somebody you touch that chin and knock you out, or you take a defeat, or you take an L of some sort, you know, but most of those guys are not gonna be there for you to support you. They are gonna be gone just as a drop of a dime. You know, hopefully he needs to learn that. There's little no loyalty, you know, amongst most of your friends, no matter how close you think they you they are. And like T Grizzly said in one of his video, he said, "Man, I don't let people around me and be in my entourage and be around me unless you bring something to the table." And I don't know Jamal Charles' situation, but I don't know what the, his entourage is bringing to the table. You know, are they, you know, helping manage his career? Do they have business ideas? Are they helping him invest? Are they helping, you know, manage things? Are they, I mean, what are they, security protection? I don't know what it is. You know, if you're going to blow money on people being around, you might as well do what Floyd do and, and blow money on security. Because security ain't going to hand no bag over to no random woman, you know, or a woman that you send my no. You know, that was the idiot thing. So if you're going to blow money and fly niggas in and out of town and, and carrying the entourage with you, you might as well blow it on some security entourage, some security they got some experience with protecting the bag and um, protecting your interests and stuff of that nature. But at the end of the day, you know, um, it's a lesson learned. And uh, hopefully, Charlo, um, don't do no dumb shit like that no more. You know, don't bring all that jewelry and money. I'll just have you a debit card, you know. Soon enough, you keep making noise. You keep fighting and beating people and moving up the ranks. People going to know who you are. You ain't got to flaunt jewelry and cash for people to be attractive to you. You know, some people just go out looking for fame, you know. 
And if they put just as much energy as they go out trying to look famous and trying to be famous and look like somebody into being being rich and dedicating themselves to their craft, you know, the 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 fame will come with with the, with the money, you know. The the fame will come with the clout. That's part of the territory. But you gotta you you gotta put the work in in your in, in your uh. Yo, lane, you gotta be a great boxer and people will take notice. You ain't gotta flaunt and floss, but y'all know what it is. It's TBC. We gone.